Hi everybody, so I thought I'd do another review of wellies now that I've got my wellies um, all with me now, the three sort of main pairs of wellies that I use for work. Um, as I said in the previous video, I did buy a pair of Hunter wellies, but I can admit those from this review. Um, I don't like them at all, I think they're poor quality, I think they're far too expensive for what they are. Um, I think they're uncomfortable for my legs personally, my feet personally, um, so I think in general that was a bad purchase on my part. But um, yeah, I'm going to get into um, the wellies that I've owned. Like, so these these wellies, um, these have served me very well since I was about sort of, 16 or 17. Like, these would be the sort of welly that I'd like want to be in, mostly. Um, the main reason for that is because my feet are quite wide. I've got quite like a broad foot, I think. <laughs> um, and my calves are chunky so I want um, I want wide wide at the top yeah and I want like a nice broad uh, foot cavity what's it called sole yeah broad sole of the shoe foot boot um, yeah these are great um these they're, they're inexpensive so if you're if you want if like um, you're not committed to sort of welly wearing life or any kind of life where you need to be in wellies often. Um, yeah, or like any kind of like equine, country pursuit, conservation job, whatever it is, forestry, whatever it is you happen to be doing, um, where welly-ishness, welly wearing is is uh, a requirement. Um, yeah, these are like really good, I'd have said. Um, you, the thing about them is that you can't expect them to last forever. I think I've gone through about two or three pairs of these. Um, and as you can see, like on the sole, like, like the back there, it's a little bit worn down. So um, that's worn down from uh, uh, being walking on concrete, right? So um, that scrapes away at the soles of these. They're cheap. They're um, they're cheaply made. They're quite. They're, they're they're very well made, but they are cheaply made. I think they're not they're not expensive boots. And um, we got it caught on a bit of jagged metal. I was doing the footpath in a, on a dairy farm. Got caught on jagged metal ripped a hole in the side, had to buy a new pair. So cheap, very comfortable, lovely, great wellies. Um, not padded or anything like that, but um, that's good for your feet as well. That um, that loosens up the, the bones in your feet, stretches your feet, and actually makes you feel better. There's a like, whole study about, all the studies about this, about how your feet are very important for your, for hormones going to your, to your brain and so on, like, you know, feel good hormones, or not, uh, endorphins, so. As well, so um, uh, next boots I'm going to talk about. These are probably the next price point up, I think, um, or they are a price point up. Um, but these are these are Nora Wellies. Um, these I think I think they've been designed more with like dairy herds people in mind. So um, these are th these are the most comfortable wellies I own. These are really really comfortable. I think I've just, yeah, they're more comfortable than my bikinis or those. Frankly, they're unlined. As you can see, which I, I am, um, I think is unique among wellies. It's um, I've never come across another pair of unlined wellies ever, so that's unique, and um, it makes them incredibly flexible, and really, really comfy to be in. Like they feel like you're wearing nothing on your feet. So you know these are clearly designed for being worn often, uh, for being worn all day, you know, for a long time during the day, or for many hours a day. Um, they're designed, yeah, for comfort. They don't have steel toe caps, but um, yeah, in herdsmanship, I reckon really sort of about the worst thing you can imagine happening to your feet is a cow stab going on your foot, which is bearable, honest. It is painful, but it's, it's bearable. It won't you know, break your feet or anything. Um, yeah, so these highly recommended if comfort is what you're after and if you're likely to work with dairy cows or any kind of livestock really I think so um, you know with machinery more you need a steel toe cap welly which I'll get on to just in a minute or well, now actually <laughs> um, yeah so these uh, bikinas uh, step lights I reckon these are like obviously you can wear them in the parlor as well milking cows obviously you can do that you know there's, there's no real reason why you, no reason at all why you couldn't um, so yeah, for general purpose welly, the best general purpose welly I think is this one that I come across. 
Um, I just, the magic little spike made of rubber. It's a dream, it really is, because like, it gives you a little bit of happiness every time you finish up your, your work, take your welly off, and it's like, it's off again. This is what makes me happy. It's good, it's really good. Um, yeah, nice and wide at the top, so that's good. Um, there's thermal, which Nora's lined a little bit, and thermal, which Nora's are not. Um, Nora's can be worn almost all year round anyway, with a thick pair of socks on in the winter, and they are perfectly comfortable, in my opinion. Um, I There have been particularly cold days where I would not wear Nora's. But then again, on those days, actually, all I had were these. <laughs> so, um... I just wore thick socks and not Nora's, because Nora's would be too cold. But, I just get very cold feet, yeah, I did. Or you should have had some thermal wellies. More like these, but even these wouldn't be that warm, frankly. These aren't really thermal wellies as such. These are more like semi-thermal, demi-thermal wellies, possibly. And uh, thermal wellies are like beefier than this. But it is what it is. It's a very, very good welly, I reckon. Uh, you can feel the quality of it. You know it's gonna last like a decade or something, hopefully. And yeah, this is, for 70 quid, a very good purchase if you want something durable, high quality, with a toe cap, with the dip. And um, that's versatile, good for basically any kind of farm work. Um, if you, yeah, if you're in wellies often, and you want a welly that's going to be dependable, going to last you a long time, um, comfortable, light, strong, durable, and a bit light and thermal. But also quite nice in the summer or so. You know, not there's a bit of aeration there, nice and wide at the top, so that's also good. So, yeah, that is my quickie review on wellies. Bye! Thank you for watching, everybody. Love you lots. Bye. See you soon.